Today we're used to phones where we press or touch buttons to dial a number. That is if the number's not already in the contacts list in the phone. Years ago though, phones used rotary dials to enter the number that was needed. Each time a call was to be made, the number had to be dialed. The contacts list of the day was most likely a phone book or a personal list of numbers. The closest thing to a contacts list that some phones had was a small drawer in the phone for the area dialing codes. The way the numbers were dialed was the same whatever the type of phone that was in use – candlestick, old-style telephone or one of the slightly newer dial phones. The rotary dial mechanisms themselves were very intricate mechanical items, but they were very reliable as proved by the fact that many are still working after 50 or even 100 years. Dialing was simple – first you had to lift the phone receiver and then place a finger in the hole for the number required. Then, rotate the dial round to the end stop and let the dial return under its own power. The process was repeated for each individual digit in the telephone number. Once the number was dialed, the exchange would connect the number and the call would take place. When the call was finished, the handset receiver was replaced. The same process was used for a candlestick telephone. This time, the earphone was lifted the number dialed, and then you have to speak carefully into the microphone. And when the call was finished, the earphone replaced. Finally, for the later phones, exactly the same process was followed, really the only difference being that these phones looked a little less dated. Rotary dial phones performed very well for their day, most remaining in service for very many years, and in fact some are still in use to this day.